This week I'm going to tell you how I picked my problem for the Discovery Education 3M Young Scientist Challenge 2017. The problem that I used for this challenge stemmed from my grandfather's use of an incentive spirometer, a toy that I got for Christmas, and my fear of medical equipment. This year for Christmas I got a toy that shot foam darts every time you blew through the tube. I realized that the more I used it, the better that I got at it, so then my mom said, hey, this must be good lung therapy. Then I remembered my grandfather who used an incentive spirometer for lung therapy. Then I wondered why you couldn't add the two together, foam darts and spirometry, to make a more fun alternative for kids in children's hospitals. These devices measure the volume of air and or the flow of air that can be inhaled or exhaled. My innovation revolutionizes this piece of medical equipment by adding the incentive back into the incentive spirometer. My plan is to turn it into a functional suction cup dart toy. Currently, my prototype works by measuring the differential air pressure blown through a venturi tube. The venturi tube starts off with a larger diameter and ends in a smaller diameter, causing the air pressure to change as it is forced into a smaller space. My sensor picks up this difference and reads it through a programmable Arduino interface, which is then displayed on this laptop. I've shared my idea with two children's respiratory therapists who thought that the use of my innovation would help them with some of their tougher patients. Hello, it's foam dart fun! I've come to realize that one of two things can happen when thinking of ideas. Number one, somebody else is going to do it and they'll take credit for it. Or number two, nobody else will do it ever. Both of these are good motivation. I think that my idea this year fits into the second category. Even if I had explained my idea before I made it to a spirometry company, I doubt it would have gotten much attention. This is why I decided to make it for myself. Sometimes it takes a kid to design for a kid. I feel like my innovation will help kids all around the world who have a fear of medical equipment or are uncomfortable around hospitals like me. Some people invent for fun, and some people invent out of necessity. But what happens when fun is the necessity? This is the case with children's medicine. That's why this children's hospital here looks like a castle. But why stop there? My innovation plans to revolutionize the way people design children's medical equipment, starting with the incentive spirometer. I've already had the amazing experience so far of being able to say, hey, I made that when looking at my innovation, and it's just really great. 